Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you all are doing well. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to represent floating point numbers uh, in scientific notation. All right, so assuming that we had our norm in, in our normal math, assuming we had a number like let's say two hundred. Uh, actually, let me see. One, two, three, four. Point zero zero. Okay, assuming we had this number, right? Assuming we had this number. There are, there are eight zeros, okay? There are eight zeros. So assuming we had this number and we wanted to write write this in scientific notation, right? The normal way we do it in math will be something like two times ten, okay? Now there's no way to represent exponents, so I'm going to write to the power, okay? So two times ten to the power. Now this would have to move it, move this decimal all the way to actually th this will be two point zero. Right, because we moved the decimal from this point all the way to basically in front of two, so basically we're moving this way. We're moving from we're moving this many times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and because we move eight places to the left to this point, okay, to this point, it's going to be two times ten to the power, okay, two times ten to the power eight, and so this is how we would write this same number in scientific notation. Right now, there's a way to represent, you know, this number here in code or basically in Java, and so that that process or, or that way, the way to represent that is called e notation. Okay, e notation, and the way we would write this same number in e notation. Okay. Well, well, first of all, uh, okay, I'll, I'll talk about that. I'll, th I'll talk about that in a second. Hold on a sec. All right, so it's called e notation, and the way you write this same number okay in scientific notation okay using e notation is this you'd say 2.0 now in e notation okay you can you can basically e notation you can represent 10 to the power the 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 phrase 10 to the power we, we normally say 2 times 10 to the power 8 times 10 to the power 4 point you know point 2 times 10 to the power you can represent 10 to the power or basically what's represented you know as 10 to the power is is the letter e the letter e capital e uppercase e or lowercase e and so i just wanted to mention this and so the way you represent this number okay in scientific notation using e notation okay it's going to be 2.0 e8 all right because e represents 10 to the power right so 2.0 times 10 to the power 8 well 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 actually what's it's actually this 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 is multiplying there's a multiplication sign here right but when it's displayed it when it's when you try to display it it, it doesn't actually add this multiplication sign all right so this is how it, this is how it's represented in code and so we can try an example I can try storing oops sorry I can try storing a, var a number this same number in a variable now we know it's a floating point number right Okay, so we know that by default, when you write a floating point literal, it's it's seen by Java as a double. And so, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to actually start in a double, anyways. So double, I'm going to call this um, number is going. Well, let's do that. Let's just declare this. This is what we le we've learned so far. We'll talk more about declaring variables and, and initializing initializing variables very soon. And so I've declared a variable of type double called number, and I'm storing this value. The same value. I'm just going to copy it in number, right? Now, if I wanted to display what's a number, system that out the print ln. Sometimes these num these numbers over here will be displayed. Uh, they 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 will be displayed in scientific notation, and you wouldn't see you know ex you wouldn't see this. Okay, displayed. You see something like this displayed, and so remember we said this number is the same as two times ten to the power eight, but it, it wouldn't display the pro code. The program wouldn't display this, and the way it displays numbers like this, or basically scientific notation, is using the e notation, right? And so it's going to be dis display this to us because this is the same as this number. The only difference is this is in, this is in scientific notation, and so I I want to display what the content of number here. And so when I compile this, 
and I run it, we can see that it's it's given us exactly what, what, what we're expecting. It's it's given us the same answer, but in scientific notation, and it's the same as this: 2.0 times 10 to the power 8. And you can see think of e as 10 to the power. And it's basically it's it's basically multiplying 2.0 times 10 to the power 8. And so this is how you would this is how you dis you'd represent floating point numbers um, in, in, in scientific notation notation. And the same way you can actually use use something like this. This whole thing is a value. It's the same as it's the same as this number here, and it's the same as yeah. Basically, it's the same. This number here is the same as this here. And so you can actually use this as a value in your code, as a as a you know literal in your code. So instead of just printing the content of number as in this value, I'm just going. I can I can I can tell it to print something like this, and it wouldn't complain that this is out of you know out of order or out of format or anything. It will still print it out well because it's 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 a value, it's a real value. You can also use e, small a lowercase e to represent scientific notation. It's the same thing. You can see that it even changed e to capital E. It is the same thing. Now you can try something cool here. If I wanted to display, let's say a value like let's say um, two five six, you know. Two five six. Let's see. Two five two five six seven times. Sorry. Two five six seven point oh eight. Okay. Times ten to the power eight. If I wanted to display that, let's see what happens. Look at what happened. Over here, I had two five six point oh eight times ten to the power eight, but it 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 basically moved the decimal places over in front of two, so that there's always one number. Before the decimal place, so so basically, I had an exponent of eight, and so it moved to the left one, two, three places, right? And because it moved to the to the left three places and placed the decimal point right in front, right um, after two, because it moved three places to the left, three was added to the exponent eight, and so it becomes two point five six seven times ten to the power eleven. As you can see, this is working actually. It's working d dynamically, and that's and that's good. So, don't worry about this too much. All you have to know about this video is that there is a way to represent floating point numbers in scientific notation, and and it's represented in, in scientific notation notation by using the e notation. Okay, so you see numbers like this. I just wanted you, wanted you to see it, and just so you don't get confused when you see it. Okay, and if you wanted to use it, this is how you use it too. But we will see more examples with this if 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 um, if need be all right so thank you very much for watching take care of yourself if you have any questions please comment down below and as always i'll do everything to respond to them take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time with the next video all right bye bye